Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because on today's episode, Will is going on a folding adventure. Yes, indeed, yo, I'm going on a folding adventure to Frenchtown, Montana, which is where our good friend Josh Smith lives. Josh came over uh, this summer and we built a stiletto dagger in collaboration with him as well as Niels Vandenberg, and he's invited me to go over to his place to build my first folding knife, which I'm really, really excited for. Awesome. It's gonna be a ton of fun, I'm sure. I can't wait to see the result. We're gonna jump right in to you actually working up some steel thread after we thank today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is Squarespace. It is the online website building platform that makes it incredibly easy for you to build your own website in your own browser that works beautifully on mobile and PC. You can get started today with a free trial at squarespace.com forward slash forge and coupon code forge. It's gonna get you an extra 10% off your first purchase. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Let's get back into it. I am absolutely thrilled with how this piece came out. I cannot wait to see it on my first folding knife. Now that I'm super, super excited about not only getting to make a folding knife, but about the Damascus that's gonna be in it as well. All right, well, I made it to Josh's shop and we're gonna go ahead and get started on the folder. I already got the steel done and everything, but Josh, what's the, what's the next step? Well, Will brought a template uh, that he kind of roughed in. So we're gonna just kind of dial that in, check all the mechanics of the folder, make sure it works right cut some templates out and start transferring that to the steel. It's gonna be a blast. So we just ran the steel for the blade and the bolsters through Josh's rolling mill. It's a super, super cool piece of machinery. It's got two big rollers on it that have a lot of power behind them. You can control the depth to really precisely control how thick you're rolling your piece to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and explain the main pieces of a liner lock folding knife. A liner lock folding knife has eight main pieces. We have a blade, pretty self-explanatory as to what that does. We have a backspacer, which is essentially the same thickness as the blade, and it keeps the handle scales and liners the right width apart, uh, and that is right there. We have two liners, uh, and those liners are what go on either side of the blade and backspacer. One of those has a locking mechanism is it, in it, which uh, has a detent in it, which keeps the blade closed. Uh, and then when the blade comes open, it locks the blade open. Uh, then we have two bolsters. Those are just for fancy, uh, and they are looking like that. And then we have two handle scales as well. And for those handle scales, I'm gonna be using some mammoth ivory, which is gonna be really sweet. Never used mammoth ivory before, but I'm really looking forward to it.
now that I've got the back spacer and both liners in a pretty good spot, it's time to take the bolster pieces and the blade, chop them off, surface grind them down, and start getting the blade ready to fit into the rest of the knife. So it's the next morning now. We ended up working until about 1 o'clock last night, but we made some amazing progress. And like you guys saw this morning, I was just doing the fit up, making sure that it opened up and it looked square, and then it came uh, so that the tip was sitting below where the edge of the handle is. So I'm absolutely thrilled with how this is coming out so far. Um, next step is going to be, it's going to be awesome. Next step is going to be drilling and tapping the liners. Um, to be able to hold the bolsters and the handle material on. And then Josh is making a couple knives uh, ahead of me just so that I kind of have an idea of what's going on and then he's helping me out uh, telling me exactly what to do for every step here but he's uh, he's showing me step by step how to make it happen uh, beforehand. So what did you just do on these guys? So I just reamed these out to a 49 and now I'm going to tap those for a 256 screw. Mm, perfect. So here's an update for you guys. I've got the bolsters shaped. They're looking really, really nice. Time to go ahead and thin out the ivory that's going to get fit up onto each handle scale here. So it's got to get thinned down uh, and then we'll move into fitting it up onto the liners themselves. We just ended up scribing the lines for the lock bar. Now this is the part of the knife um, that it's integral to the liner, so it's the same piece as the liner, but we'll cut along all these lines that we scribed in here, and then we'll bend it so that it engages and it's what locks the knife open. It means you can push it to the side and the knife will be able to close. It also has the ball detent in it, what gives the blade retention so that you can put pressure on it and then it'll flick out and you know be smooth and nice and all that stuff. Well, we've had an awesome day of progress so far. It's already pretty late. What is it, like 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. Uh, we're getting ready to heat treat our blades. Uh, Josh has two blades that he's going to heat treat. I've just got the one because I work slow. Um, this is my first, <laughs> first hopefully, going to be finished folder. I tried one when I was 17. It didn't work out very well. But, uh, yeah, we've got the uh, pivot hole drilled, the detent hole, the 
uh, thumb stud, thumb thumb stud hole. Exactly, and then it's all shaped up. It doesn't have bevels on it. It's just flattened down and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be using Josh's salt pot. Uh, dip things in molten salt and then quench them, and hopefully they'll come out hard and straight. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're about there. Guys, this is what the blade looks like <laughs> straight out of the quench. You can't even tell that it's Damascus straight out of the quench like that. That is absolutely incredible. But if you get any moisture in there, it will explode and get salt on the ceiling. Ask yeah. Josh how he knows. Yeah. <laughs> when you just do this. <laughs> I've just done a ton of filing, as you guys saw. But I've got to say, it came out pretty nice. I mean, that looks really good in my opinion. I'm super happy with that. I'm very excited with how this is coming out. I'm going to go ahead and take the liners off of the back bar and uh, just do kind of a different pattern on the back bar. It's kind of its own separate thing. It's going to be a bigger, bolder pattern than what I have on the liners. But uh, just a little bit more file work to do, and then we're going to start doing the final finishing work and get it finished up. bolsters polished up here. They're nice and shiny, ready to go into the ferric chloride. After that, I'll scrub them down, uh, same as I did on the blade, also looking fantastic. And then we're going to go in and do some heat coloring on them, which is really cool, something I've never done before. Uh, but Josh is really good at it, so it's going to be a good time. Well, Josh, I really can't thank you enough for having me here and teaching me how to do this. Just been an absolute blast. I've had a ton of fun. I've learned an unbelievable amount. The knife works. It has incredibly smooth action, um, and it just looks killer. So, seriously, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you did a fantastic job. Um, I can I can tell people what to do, but not everybody can actually pull it off. So, fantastic work. It was a pleasure working with you. I learned as well. Um, super cool time. I was uh, pleased to be a part of it, and uh, I hope you build another one soon. Thank you. I hope so, too. That was, that was just a blast. Um, I'm going to head back to, uh, to the shop in the morning, and we'll, uh, we'll get some more final shots and all that. But, Josh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it.
Welcome back, Will. It is great to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be back. This, let me tell you folks, pictures do not do justice to this knife. This is just utterly, utterly gorgeous. And what video will never get across is just how amazing that feels to open. This is incredible. So Will, great job on that. And a thank huge you. thank you, of course, goes to Josh Smith. Yes, he was an awesome, awesome teacher, super hospitable, hosted me at his house for, for three nights and yeah, basically, yeah. Just really, really incredible. Thank you so much, Josh. It's brilliant, it's amazing. And it's extremely exciting that now you've got this knowledge, we can maybe work on some other cool foldy projects and stabby projects, that could be exciting. So great job, Will. Thank you, Josh. Let's end by thanking today's sponsor. As you know, today's sponsor is Squarespace. It is the website building platform that is perfect for the artist, for the craftsman, for the small business owner that wants to showcase their work, the products that they offer in an incredibly professional way. All of Squarespace's themes work beautifully, not only on PC, but also on mobile. And as the artist, craftsman, or small business owner, obviously it's difficult to be able to have the resources to go and get web designers to build the website for you, you don't need to do that with Squarespace, which is why it's so perfect, because you can edit it all yourself. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be particularly computer savvy. You can jump right in with Squarespace and start making a beautiful website. You build the website entirely from your browser, and if you run into any issues whatsoever, they have 24 seven customer support to help you along the way. You can even buy your domain through Squarespace to make the whole process as easy as possible and get your website up and online to the world. And so be sure to go to squarespace.com forward slash forge to get yourself a free trial so you can try it out, experience it, see how well it works. And then if you use code FORGE at checkout, you're going to be getting 10% off of your first purchase with Squarespace. Thank you for sponsoring this Squarespace. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Will. And especially thank you, Josh Smith, for helping teach us all this amazing information. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.